Hi, I'm Dr. Joanna Jackson, Assistant Professor of Healthcare Management here in the CBA, and I'm honored to share with you how our CBA students engage, transform, and soar. This past summer, along with Dr. Willis Lewis and Professor Larry Stevens, six students participated in the summer undergraduate research experience, where they extensively studied vaccine hesitancy in college students and substance use treatment program regulations. With the help of Dean Saxena, the CBA, and other Winthrop programs, all students received a stipend, scholarships, and were able to live on campus for free. Our students attended weekly journal club where they learned to conduct literature reviews, read, evaluate, and interpret research studies. They also attended data club where students learned how to use statistical software and they eventually analyzed results from their very own research projects. It wasn't all about research though. The students participated in professional development activities and met with professionals in their dream careers, including the mayor of Rock Hill. They spent time exploring graduate programs and we had fun doing it. We even had a game night. Students are now blossoming researchers who can evaluate research results to make informed decisions. As a result of studying vaccine hesitancy in college students, two of our students decided to get vaccinated. And because their research showed a popular way college students receive health information is through social media, the students posted their experience getting vaccinated on social media to encourage others. The students then presented their research to the Winthrop community at the Shure Symposium over the summer. And then again at a fall poster session, they're currently working now to submit to undergraduate research conferences and publications. Moved by their work on vulnerable populations, the students and with our help, the faculty advisors spent the day volunteering at Pathways Community Center right here in Rock Hill. The research experience, tools, and skills they've gained make them competitive and compelling candidates for graduate schools. In fact, four out of six of the research assistants have applied to top-notch graduate schools like Indiana University, UNC Chapel Hill, and UCLA. Hello, my name is Nicholas Molman, and I'm an assistant professor of economics here at Winthrop University's College of Business Administration. In the summer of 2020, we were tasked by the Fort Mill Economic Partners, as well as the town of Fort Mill, with performing an economic impact study for a proposed extension to the Carolina Thread Trail that had been proposed in 2008. So here you can see the proposed amendment for the Carolina Thread Trail, which had not yet been realized. And Fort Mill Economic Partners, as well as the town, asked us to perform an economic impact study to be able to discern what the overall effect of this trail would be. Throughout this semester, we've employed 40 students across two sections of BADM 381, a service learning and leadership course, to go out and assess not only where this trail will go, but what the effect of it will be and what public perception and what business perception of this trail is. So we've been working consistently throughout the semester to make this a reality. So here you see that trail that's been proposed superimposed on what Fort Mill currently looks like here going through downtown Fort Mill up to the Ann Springs Close Greenway. We've had students conducting a number of different types of analyses, including interviewing people on both the Ann Springs Close Greenway, Greenway and the Riverwalk in terms of expenditure data and what type of economic activity would be generated surveying individuals who live in and around Fort Mill as to what their perception of the trail would be, and estimating the overall economic effect of this trail. And while our results are currently in their nascent stages, we are in the process of determining what the overall effect of this will be. This will provide a great tool for the town of Fort Mill, as well as others who seek to make this trail a reality, and we'll be able to have these results very soon. Hi, my name is Dr. Andrew Bessmer, and I'm an Associate Professor of Computer Science at Winthrop University. I'm here today to talk to you about our high impact practices that we have in computing, and I'm joined by my co-presenters, Ben Bridgman from Limbic and Ashley Gibson. Both Ben and Ashley worked with me in the capstone course on a project around wearable computing last semester. We certainly do a number of high impact practices in computing. Uh, the one I'd like to talk to you to about today would be the Digital Information Design Capstone. Our Digital Information Design Program, or DIFD, 
is a program that comes from four different departments across three different colleges. We have students who specialize in digital commerce, those would be our marketing students, interactive media, those would be our design students, web app design, those would be our computer science focused students, and digital mass media, those are our mass communication focused students. These students will go take a core set of courses across all those four different departments. So our computer science students have to go and learn a little bit about mass communication, design, and marketing. Then they specialize. They'll learn all about the backend systems. They'll learn all about the different database formats and different API designs that they could employ. And when they're finished with their specialization, they'll all come back together as a group in the capstone so that they can form interdisciplinary teams to work on real world projects. These projects are from real companies that have real deadlines and real expectations about what's going to happen. Companies are small and large. We have companies that are everything from two co-founders who are just getting started all the way to thousands of employees that are representative of the different types of students that we have in the course. Probably one of the most exciting things about the capstone is getting to meet the different companies and learn more about them. For example, what is it that they do? How do they work? And what is it that they need that we can help them with? In the picture here, you can see Ashley and Ben, both at our technology incubator in the city of Rock Hill. And this is where we hold our uh, capstone course. And during this meeting, Ben decided to share with us exactly how wearable computing fits into Limbic's vision for the future. Now, students work on a variety of different things over the course of the semester. They might be doing things from persona design to backend API design. But rather than me illustrate and, you know, enumerate every single thing that the students are going to work on over the course of the semester, I'd like to hear from one of our own students who worked on one of these projects, Ashley Gibson. So Ashley, would you like to take it away? Hi, I'm Ashley Gibson. I graduated in May 2020 in the DIFD program, and my concentration was in interactive media. In the DIFD capstone class, my group was paired with Limbic, um, a startup company aiming to tackle stress and performance through apps and integrations like wearable technology. My group was specifically tasked with creating a web app that educated users on stress and also provided helpful resources regarding stress. Additionally, we also had to create a marketing website that promoted the web app, um, but also had a login and sign up feature as well. My specific duties included um, user research, such as surveying and user personas. I also um, designed the branding and identity, and I designed uh, wireframes and the interface of both the web app and the marketing website. I also worked on the front end development as well, so HTML, CSS, and React.js. This class and project really helped my collaboration and communication skills, um, especially because everyone on the team had a different concentration, meaning we had different skill sets and areas of focus. It also helped me experience um, the client relationship that designers have, whether it be um, through freelancing or at an agency. I gained a lot of insight, um, similar to what an internship may offer. I currently work as a designer at an ed tech company, um, and though I don't work directly with clients, um, this capstone project experience overall has helped um, how I define my process as a designer and also how I communicate um, with my teammates who all have different titles at the company. This experience has also helped grow my um, connections, and I'm still in contact with the Libic team today. Thank you, Ashley. So one of the things that I think you notice is that the students have a lot of benefits from participating in a course like this. This is more than rote memorization of knowledge. We're not just asking them to memorize a series of facts and then regurgitate them on a test. We're working on a real project. They have to put the skills that they learn in marketing and design, mass communication and computer science to the test. They're really gonna have to develop the product in order to be successful in the course. They have to learn how to work with other people from other disciplines. For example, uh, Ashley being an interactive media student, she's great with design. She knows all about color schemes and typographies, layouts, principles that make uh, different types of designs work for different types of people. And she's interfacing directly with the computer science students who are not necessarily as good with design. We, we typically are great at making things work, but not so great at making them look good. So we need to help each other and we need to learn how to communicate with one another. And they have to learn how to do that by figuring out how can they express the concepts that they understand to their teammates. So while Ashley may have never heard of a foreign key or a primary key or anything else like that, 
she still had effects on all of those different parts of our computing system. And we had to learn how to talk to Ashley so that we can figure out how we can make our project be the best that it possibly can be. The students need to learn how to work with their clients. Different clients have different expectations and not all of them are forthcoming about the types of expectations that they have or even the project requirements that they want us to work on. So they have to learn how to elicit those responses from their client, how to follow up with them in timely manner and how to make sure that they're meeting the expectations that that client has, whether it be for regular, you know, checkups and, and uh, detail accounts of what they've accomplished to you know, a client who just wants to know about major milestones and accomplishments that have been happening in the project. They get to build lifelong networks with their uh, other students. And most importantly, as Dean Saxena says, it makes education come alive. We're really taking what is knowledge and making it fun. And that's probably the best part for me as, a, as an educator is, is seeing that happen and seeing the students really enjoy working on uh, the work that I'm, I'm asking them to do. Now, from the company's perspective, I'd like to ask uh, Ben Bridgman, who uh, is illustrated right there on the right-hand side, to tell us a little bit about the company's perspective. Ben? We were super excited when the opportunity opened up for Limbic to work with the DIFD capstone. Our founder, Christian, is a proud Winthrop alum, and at Limbic, a core part of our culture is in building community, so collabs with the next gen are super important. Working with Dr. Besper was smooth sailing and gave us the opportunity to wrap a business challenge we face with deep insights and feedback relevant to the team members. From our perspective, the way work is done is changing dramatically, so we challenged the team of five to operate in a remote, agile environment using the tools in our op stack. Overall, the experience was great and the team rose to the challenge. They got access to early product design decisions, provided valuable feedback, and conducted discovery in an emerging market for our product. It's high value for us to interact with the next gen. Design and entrepreneurial thinking are super important ingredient for success. That being said, the preparedness of the student team really stood out. We look forward to the next opportunity to collab with the College of Business and Winthrop on future projects. Thank you, Ben. So hopefully you also see that just like there are benefits for students, there's benefits for employers too. Here you get to learn about the different students that you have. Maybe there's openings that you can consider them for. The students get to work on different types of problems that maybe your company doesn't have the time right now to dedicate to or the resources to dedicate to it. So you are focused on you know, more important things and you can let them explore maybe these other areas of interest to you, uh, but that you know, they might not be uh, ready to look at in your, in your company just yet. Employees early in their career can have a uh, shot at doing some project supervision. This is a low stakes way to let them manage a project, make sure that it's successful and drive the results from that project. Current employees get to maintain currency in their field. For example, learning new tools that maybe they haven't ever encountered or thought about using before. We find that students are typically maybe two or three steps ahead of us on different communication tools and things like that uh, that are out there. And it's also a great way to give back. My major point is that all of these high impact practices that we're doing, including this capstone, these are win-win situations. The students win, they're getting a fantastic educational experience, and the companies win. They're getting tangible benefits uh, from working with the students and, and really seeing the outcome of their work. So with that said, I'd like to thank you for your time, and I look forward to working and collaborating with you in the future. I'm Dr. Jane Thomas, and I want to talk to you today a little bit about an exciting project that we did a year ago here in the College of Business, specifically in the marketing department, and give you a little bit of insight about some additional resources that we could use as well in our work with students. Last fall in 2020, we were approached by the Warren Norman Company and asked, would we be interested in partnering with them on a new project that they were doing at the corner of Oakland and Cherry Road, right across the street from the university. So myself and my colleague, Dr. Stephanie Lawson, actually joined together with Mr. Norman and began to brainstorm about what kind of project could we do that would include students and would also provide a legacy of student work here. So the whole idea of us coming together and working on this was born. So in the fall of 2020, Stephanie Lawson and I, across four different classes, worked on a project for Warren Norman. 
Part of the students collected information and data, so they did surveys, they did qualitative research, they even did a little bit of anthropology research and went into the old building there on the Coke factory and dug around and looked to see what were remnants that could be used in an existing bar. And then one of the most exciting pieces they did was to test a name for the project. And that name that won out was the Perch. And so that is the name that will be there. And for us, that's exciting to see that something the students did is going to have a lasting impact on students to come. The Warren Norman Company was great to work with. They were incredibly generous by offering us their time, their insight, as well as a very generous financial gift. And as I look at other projects that our students can be involved in and think, where else could we have funding for that? One of the places is actually in travel. While there is a lot of things that we can do through the internet and look at sites and information, it would be so much more meaningful if students could travel. So for example, with the Warren Norman Project, students used online resources to look at similar types of real estate opportunities in other cities. But how exciting it would have been if I could have sent students to Atlanta and said, go look at Ponce Market, spend a day there, get to see what it is like there. Or to say, go interview someone in Charlotte or Greenville about their work and gain some personal insight. So for travel would be one place where we could use some existing funding. Another place for funding to help with student projects is access to different types of websites and platforms. We use a lot of Canva here in designing projects with students. So giving students access to that so they don't have to pay for it or little things like Dropbox. Did you know that you can only have so much information in your Dropbox and then you're gonna to have to pay for a subscription? So subscription to different platforms for short-term use would also be very helpful to students. One of the things that we enjoy working with students on projects is, is that students have an opportunity to really use information that they're learning in the classroom and put it into a real world situation. Anytime I talk with students a semester after they finish a project, they always say, that was the best thing that I did while I was in college. I have a copy of it and I showed it to someone when I went for an interview and they were amazed at the work that I had done. So thank you for partnering with us and providing opportunities for our students. Hello, I'm Clotia Garrison, Associate Dean of Undergraduate Programs and Professor of Computer Science. I want to tell you about a two-semester capstone project that brings together all of our computing majors. In the first semester, these students work with the, the customer to gather the requirements they, through interviews or research or even site visits. Then they design the system based on those requirements. At the end of the first semester, the students do a formal presentation of those requirements and the proposed design. Then in the second semester, they take those requirements and the design and implement them. They develop the software, test it, and then install it in the user's environment. This semester, we are doing an event management uh, software project for a small business. Currently, the owner uses paper to record her events, keep track of the various uh, milestones in preparing for that event and stores them in a filing cabinet. So we are, the students are uh, designing a product that will allow her to digitally enter in her information, view it, make modifications, will send her automatic notifications at various points in uh, the preparation for that event. They're also developing a donation management system for two separate churches. So the students are combining the requirements from those, those customers and then are developing a design that's flexible enough to be acceptable to both customers. In the past, uh, last year, we developed a system for a local Lions Club. Selling advertisements in their print phone book has been one of their largest fundraisers and so they wanted something digital. The students were able to connect to it, their existing website and create that digital yellow pages for them. The year before that, we did a project for the United Way. 
In that case, we, the students, developed a system that helped them with their bicycle, their Christmas bicycle giveaway. So these projects are useful, helpful, make an impact to our students and our community. The students are able to use concepts that they have learned throughout their college career. They independently learn new concepts and tools. They gain content for their resumes and are help and they help the community provide us and they provide a service for the community. The community organizations that we work with are able to clarify their needs, see solutions, and even receive a product. 